and again overall this ride is just amazing so it's going to blow you away because there is nothing like that out in the market but so before we get into it i'd like to give the running company geelong a massive shout out for hooking me up with a pair of these so soon and again if you haven't done so already make sure you hit that subscribe button now Okay, so the Wave Rebellion Pro 2, so neutral road racing shoe. So Mizuno say this one is designed for experienced runners only. Uh, quick spec, so we've got in Australia, it's jumped up $40 in price, $360. I think it's $250 in the US. Uh, weight wise, it lost a little bit of weight, 7.7 .7 ounces or 215 grams in a men's size 9. Stack height, 38 in the rear. 36 and a half in the front giving us a one and a half mil drop however egg significant because the geometry of this shoe makes this shoe feel really different so it's really hard to judge uh, the offset so in the scores it's a real shame that this shoe has jumped up by $40 here in Australia that's why it's getting six and a half out of ten uh, and weight wise still nice and light doesn't feel heavy on the foot at all eight and a half out of ten Right, so in the upper here they're using a engineered mesh that is pretty similar to the, the previous version. They probably changed where the breathing holes are, but this material itself feels very, very similar. Well, nice and light, very breathable. It's got that race-like feel, so really, really nice. Padding-wise, they've gone away with what they had in the previous version. They had this material and a quite a little, a little bit of padding just around the heel cup here. Uh, gone away with that now they've just got two pads uh, in the back of the heel counter there as you can see there so very similar to what they use in the adidas Adi zero series uh, but that does a fine job of locking the heel down heel counter very very flimsy as you can see there tongue very thin tongue no padding on the tongue it's not gusseted uh, these laces exactly the same as what they use on the previous version if you're not familiar with that they're like just a ribbon or very much like a the laces that they used to use on the Vaporfly. Uh, step in comfort, you don't really worry about that in a race day shoe, but it is not too bad. Great lockdown in the shoe, had no slipping whatsoever. Uh, and the fit now is true to size, so you don't no longer have to buy a half size up anymore. This one is good to go. So overall in the upper, pretty happy here with the upper. I was concerned about this sharp ribbing that they have got around the top of the shoe here however it hasn't caused me any irritation so quite happy with the upper here 8 out of 10. So in the midsole here they have got a dual density midsole so they're using their premium uh, Mizuno Energy Light Plus uh, at the top layer and at the bottom it's the Mizuno Energy Light. Now sandwiched between those two layers is their carbon infused wave plate so that is full length and really gives this shoe some rigidity so nice and stiff shoe now geometry this is where the shoe comes into its own so geometry has certainly changed from last year uh, and they've actually moved the rocker back for me it feels like it's moved slightly back in the shoe and it actually the pitch actually feels like it's far more aggressive and it goes down so when you put this shoe on you feel like you're walking around on your tiptoes or feels like that you're in like the starters blocks if you've ever had that experience before but geometry very very different to the previous version very different to any other shoe that's on the market not so comfortable to walk around in that's for sure and in the ride it's soft it's bouncy and super responsive so everything that i look for in a race day shoe does it have any magic it's got plenty of magic so when you put this shoe on you're like oh wow this thing is different it's amazing uh, geometry wise yeah you feel like the rocker has moved back and you get most of your bounce back here in the shoe but then it rocks your forward on the forefoot and then you toe off like that so that's where this shoe is getting its um, aggressive ride sensation from however I think it is best suited to that marathon pace so it's I found the other shoe too quick for a marathon believe it or not because I felt like the shoe just kept rolling on it to roll forward and roll forward and roll forward this one I think has toned down a little because it wants you to land on that uh, forefoot midfoot and I think just with that slight change of geometry it just keeps you or it makes it easier to lock into those paces and not wanting your legs to keep ticking over faster and faster and faster so I like what they've done with the geometry here I think they've tweaked it 
and I think they've really honed into that marathon pace. And again, overall, this ride is just amazing. So it's going to blow you away because there is nothing like that out in the market. I love that Mizuno are sticking to their guns here and trying something different. 9 out of 10. And in the outsole here, again, they're using their G3 rubber. So this rubber is amazing. This grip is aggressive. Really, really nice. It gives you re some real confidence uh, in racing and hitting those fast speeds in this shoe. Uh, Wear-wise, it does show some signs of wear, but up around the 100 kilometer mark. And so I'm not too concerned about that in a race day shoe. Uh, what they've done here, you can see the exposed carbon plate here. So they've actually changed that from the previous version. It used to have a big cutout here on the um, on the inside of the shoe. They've gone away with that now. So that does give a different sensation in the ride. Uh, however, I think it is better what they've done here with the midsole. So you're not collapsing um, medially on the shoe anymore. But Again, I've said it before, if I could have this outsole rubber on any other shoe, or especially a race day shoe, I'm always picking this G3 rubber. Absolutely love it. 9 out of 10. And best use for me is exactly what it's designed for, so marathon racing. And obviously all those workouts, that's got marathon pace in it as well, so you're going to need some practice in the shoe, because you need, you're going to need to get used to this geometry. And as I said before, this shoe is best for those experienced runners. So it's not going to suit anyone that just wants to have a jogging shoe or use their jogging shoe to walk around in each day. This shoe is not good for that. And you, you're going to be really uncomfortable because of the way that the shoe sits on the foot. It's very uncomfortable to walk around. So if you want a shoe for that, you need to look elsewhere. Okay, so other options or other shoes to consider if you're thinking about uh, this shoe. So in this category is the first version of this. You can, the Mizuno Wave Rebellion Pro 1, you can pick up some good deals on that shoe at this stage. But it's the most similar feeling to this shoe. But again, geometry very different. It's, the ride is very different. Also the Nike Alpha Fly, so one or two. They're going to give you, they've got a really big stack and a nice bouncy feeling like this one. But again, totally different. And if you want something a little firmer that's going to feel different, the Socony Endorphin Elite. So I'm really over the moon that Mizuno are sticking to their guns here. So they're, they're following the traditions of the original version, which is a shoe that I loved and a lot of other people that have loved as well. So well done there Mizuno. So this Mizuno Energy Light is just a great foam. And that coupled with this geometry, they're really onto something different. So again, Mizuno, keep sticking to your guns. Don't conform to what everyone else is doing because it's really refreshing to have a shoe that's so different, but it is an excellent race day option. And as you can see there by the score, excellent score, cracked over 40 again. So it's just a shame that the price went up or it would have got another great score and it would have probably beat the first version. But again, They've got to conform with uh, the rest of the shoe market out there. If everyone else is charging that amount for the shoes, Mizuno are going to get that as well. But <clears throat> well done, Mizuno. Great shoe. Uh, and that's it from me, guys. Again, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions of how this compares to anything else that I've got, just please drop those questions in the comments below. If you haven't done so already, feel free to check out my comparison review between the Mizuno Wave Rebellion 1 and the Wave Rebellion 2 just to see which one is right for you. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and we'll see you next time.